enjoying the beautiful weather. Hey. It's not raining. What are we doing today? We're cutting down trees that fell down while we were gone in Fairbanks. We got back to the island yesterday. Uh, this morning we went out, we cleaned their lines off because they had some barnacles growing on it. So we went and scraped the lines. Then we came back and uh, got the chainsaw because while we've been gone, a couple of trees have blown down and they're blocking our path, our little trail. So we're gonna buck those up. Uh, so what has ex what's exciting that's happened so far? Well, this morning Gunner got into it with the mink and uh yeah chased after it and laid into it for a little bit and then he the mink ran off into the woods and gunner got a tongue lashing from my wife and then uh the only damage to the cabin was there wasn't no damage to the cabin but a bear came by and <laughs> knocked over our grill and and that was it Maybe he licked off some some stuff on the the little grate, but uh, all in all, the cabin looks good still. Batteries were still doing good. Uh, I don't know if we even mentioned that, but we've got our we got our battery bank all hooked up and the inverter hooked up, so maybe we'll do a video on that too. Uh, so now, yeah, let's we're gonna go get go down there where these trees are, and we're gonna clear out our landing where our outhaul is, so we'll clear that up a little bit too. So we're gonna go cut some trees or buck them up I should say let's go Gunner hey come stick around here yeah stick around here come on Ugh. all right so this is what's in the path this isn't a big deal but there's a bigger tree the, the base of the trees inside so we'll just get this out of the way and we'll buck that stuff up and bring it back for some firewood <laughs> No. Oh, it's a different color. Yeah, that's just where the link. I uh, got it. So, so that you know. Yeah. I need a thin one in there. That's how Alaska girls do it. <laughs> Yeah. So that's one load. Did I tell you that I like the trailer that I made? Like, oh yeah, it's awesome. Perfect, perfect. All right, so we're gonna take this back, then do the second load, and then we're gonna go down and clear the um, the outhaul because 
either we're going to bring that that a second trailer over here so we can bring our boat on shore when it's uh windy or uh one of the guys that uh where we store our boat at, at willie's marine uh they one of the guys has a landing craft there and and uh might be big enough to take our trailer might over. be big enough to take our trailer so maybe we'll throw our trailer on that thing and call it good <laughs> you can't see her, she's blurry. So we cleared the outside trail, cleared the inside trail because some trees fell down. Now what we're going to do here is just limb up some stuff and then that's it. We'll go finish getting the second part of those uh, logs and take them back and then, I don't know, it's 2 o'clock, I might call it a day. We got a little out of shape, man. We've been gone for a month. I ain't used to doing this hard work. All right, let's finish this up. There we go. All right, well, that was pretty much it. I just wanted to limb that up a notch because I was like having to hug the gas tank on that four-wheeler to get underneath there. So we cleared the inside trail, cleared the outside trail, limb that up so we can get through. Now we're just going to go pick up anything because hopefully next week we can get that uh, second trailer over here so we can pull the boat out. Cross our fingers. Sexy Gucci time is over. Um, we still got some decent weather coming up and and the temperatures are still fairly good but um, we're gonna use today to get some of this wood split and, and get in our shed um, so it's it's uh, October and we're roughly this is southeast Alaska we're looking at the mid 30s for the lows and the low 50s are our highs and so probably around mid to late October is when we get our first snowfall and then it just gets chilly after that so oh, I thought we'd get some of this stuff knocked out of the way and uh, yeah bring you along with us We're going to move this over and put it under our porch. Um, 
yeah, and then we'll put all of uh, the, the wood we cut like two years ago, we'll throw it in here. And this wood that we're splitting now, we're going to put it on the pallets and let that stuff dry all this next year and then some. So, yeah, that's a good plan. So, it's kind of start to finish, you know. So, we 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 get a lot of blowdowns and a lot of standing standing dead trees and uh, they're not all on our property like that piece of wood that we cut at the beginning of this video that was on state property so as long as it's uh, a blowdown or standing dead you can harvest that stuff they just don't want you cutting live trees and we don't need to because we got plenty of standing dead and the reason why we bucked it up anyways because it was down and it was in the way of the four wheel path so two birds one stone got got the path cleared and we got a little more firewood so all right let's get this stuff out of here and let's start filling this puppy back up All right, so that's it. We we basically that one tree. This is the the wood that we got out of that one blowdown that we bucked up over there by, off the trail. And then uh, we got one, two, three more trees to do for what 2020s wood. Um, but we got all of our our dried wood in the woodshed now, so that would last us through this winter. And then. We're getting all this stuff um, stacked up on some pallets and cover them up and they'll dry for next year and part of the year following that. Alright, if you are new to the channel, uh, hit the subscribe button. We'd like to have you around. Uh, and I tell you what, let's do the magic trick again. If you click the little, either this little thing or that little thing, it makes it turn blue. Try it out. I promise. It'll turn blue. All right, we'll see you guys next week.